Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, we're working on this old dog. Uh, off camera, I went in and I separated the legs in between here and did some work on underneath here. And, and uh, I've got some lines drawn on. We're going to really dig in here on these lines. And then we got to separate the, these feet from the bottom here. But if, uh, what I'm going to do first is start right in here and, and cut these V lines in. And uh, I'm going to use a, a pretty good size V tool. This is like a 10 millimeter V. Get it cut in and get the width of that head where it needs to be. I'm bringing that ear in right in there. And also we got to narrow this snout a little bit more. Now let's come around and do it on this side here. And we'll come down around this way. And I'm using um, the same piece I had some splits back in here but I'm gonna go ahead and use it and just to show you when you run into things like this you could just you can go ahead and, and work on it and and uh, get it finished up but anyway uh, I've got this ear coming in here now I want I need to uh, kind of narrow the, the snout a little bit but first of all I want to come back here behind the ear and start working in this area right in here and getting where that neck will be that's right in here and this is a lot of cross grain work so you kind of got to turn it back and forth to get it uh, where you need it to be. All right, I got that ear. Now it's a little thick, but we're gonna uh, we'll get in there later and and thin that ear down. We're just really putting in the the lines right now and getting it where it needs to be. Like right in here, I'm gonna take my V and I'm gonna start separating this in here a little bit more. Where that shoulder will be. Right in here like that. Now let's take this right in here while we're here and start cutting in this hind quarter area a little bit more like that right there and let's do it over here bring that one around where that leg Yes. And then cut in this little hind quarter right in here. Now, like that right there. Now, I'm going to narrow this snout. Now, I'm going to take me a, a knife and start shaping this area right in here. And bringing that snout up around where the nose will be right in here and coming this way with it right there like that in 
here. We want to get that narrowed down. I drew those eyes on. I've taken them all. Now, I want to come right up here. Around this area right up in here. And Right up in here, I got some saw marks. I'm gonna shave them off. Let me put that knife down. It's got a little nick on it. I'm gonna get this head rounded as much as possible even right across here and take that out smooth that down a little bit now right up under here I'm going to take a gouge and start coming across here because this is cross grain and remove this wood in here and we want to get that little nose in there shaped as much as possible way and it work right across here where that nose will be you see his nose is starting to come about just do it on this side. Now you got to be real careful in this. The grain just really changes on you a whole lot. Like I had to do that there. Now I'm having to come up this way and work this way with the wood. Like that right there. But that shows the nose. It's got it in there pretty, pretty much where we need it to be. Now, right up under here, let's, let me see. I, let me take this big up sweep here and kind of start shaving that, cleaning that up in there. Taking those gouge marks off. Yeah, now that snout's getting to where it looks pretty much the way it needs to be. I'm going to work a little bit more right in here to establish that head. And down in here where that ear will be. make me a stop cut across there then I'm gonna come in <coughs> with the gouge and work back against that ear to, to develop more of a neck like that right in there yeah. and I'm gonna do it right over here also I'm going to take 
make my stop cut right along that ear right in there and right across here I'm going to start gouging away and bringing that ear out a little bit more than what it is and tucking that leg back a little bit more just to where you can see that in there like that now let's work on this neck area a little bit more like that a little bit now this cross grain work it really helps to have a good sharp gouge and if it's a little hard, too hard for you you can always go in and you can wet it down with some water but I generally like to try to just Carve it, but see how I want those ears to stand out a little bit more. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right there, and I've got to remove some wood underneath here to separate uh, underneath the hind quarter legs, and uh, I take uh, a number nine gouge, quarter inch, and I start coming in here and start removing wood and I'll go down to its belly and then right here I'll go down to where his back of his tail is and you really want to open that up in there right there but this takes a little while to do now when you get that in there you can also come back with a knife and kind of start well let's see here Separating these legs this way a little bit. Just to give you a little bit more room. And I can open it up for a bigger gouge, like the bigger number nine. And that's working really good for me but you want to get this in here because you got to start curving those feet when you get those in hmm. we'll work that back up in there toward that tail I'm being careful because I got those splits in there. I don't want to split those out. See, I'm taking it really nice and easy, and I even sharpened this gouge um, this afternoon to get it to where it worked for me. I didn't want it to. There, like that right there. All right, now I'm going to come in right here a little bit more and narrow those legs right there. Uh, the best way to hold that is just like that. See, I'm bringing it right down to that stomach area. 
and I've just I just about got it there. But there's some gaps in between there. Um, and we got a split right across there too. So I gotta watch that too. make it work I hope <laughs> but you can see how I'm, I'm doing it anyway so that's the main thing but see how I've separated that in there now right in here I've got to round the front of those feet a little bit or paws rather I'm gonna come in and come down like that and then right in here, I'm going to do the same. And I can start working that and rounding that paw right in there. Right in there like that. Now right in here, uh, there's some separations in here. If you look right in here, you see how that's separated in there. Well, I'm going to come in. Uh, actually, I like using a soft V right in here. I'll come in here and start separating that. And it rolls all the way on around to the back. He's really got those legs tucked up underneath him. Let's do it on this side here. Now off camera, I'll go and go and do some more and get this that guy going. Especially since I've got this. Uh, all these splits in here. I, I don't. I want to be real careful on those, and doesn't want. To. V-tool right in there if I can get one in there and I think I can yeah to really separate this the bottom legs here or back legs rather Right here, we got to round that area in there. This little paw area. Well, let's <clears throat> round this. How much time we got, Peyton? We got about five minutes. About five minutes, okay. Well, we're getting where I pretty much wanted to be on this on this old guy. Now I do want to come in and really sink this in right in here, up against this shoulder, make that shoulder stand out. there and bring that in now right in here uh, that's a little 
that's a little bulky so I'm going to take my knife and it needs to be tapered in a little bit more like that right there it was a, too much of a elbow in there and I'm making it more of a slanted look let's cut back against here and give him some more hind quarter or more Let's do it right in here. Really make that shoulder stand out. Like that right there. And cut back. Right in here. Well, let's see here. And I got that cut in. Yep. the time Peyton we got down two minutes how many two two minutes all right okay well, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hold it right there and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna uh, off camera I'll shape this up here a little bit more uh, get these ears set in and work on the neck a little bit more uh, give him some more shoulder right back in here. He's got some shoulder uh, that needs to be to come across there. Uh, but uh, and then probably we'll uh, we'll we'll start working on these paws and getting them uh, really rounded and getting them ready to put in the uh, the claw areas. Uh, I'm going to leave this tail wide right now. I'm not going to get in and try to narrow it until I get everything else done here. And then I'll start, I'll, I'll put me some deep cuts right in here and right in here. But now this will close up and when you get it uh, finished, it, uh, it'll, it'll look all right. I mean, I would rather it be solid wood there, but you run into things like that. And I just wanted to show you that sometimes you, I just go ahead and finish it. And some people uh, says it has a, 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 a wood characteristic to it and it makes it look like wood. But with that, guys, uh, we're going to get him eventually uh, to look like this one. So with that, uh, we'll see you on the next video. And we'll see you later. Bye.